Hello everybody, it is December 14th, 2017, and welcome to the show where we are going to continue with this spooky adventure of The Last Door, where we are going to have some fun, some voice acting, some ridiculousness and stuff. This is essentially part uh, four of the series, um, though it'll be day two that I'm doing this. Um, but yeah, it, it's going to be fun, it's going to be great. Uh, this should be the last bit until I get to a point where it's actually a blind playthrough as opposed to a semi-blind, I remember very random bits of, of things, that sort of stuff. Um, glad to see a couple of you folks already stopping in, which is pretty cool. Um, so, Sherry Bear and Noctis Locks, thank you for stopping in so early into the stream. It makes me feel good to have people here when I start. It's great. Um, oh, and, and, and Miss Ellie Cat. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. We got three people in the house. It's pretty cool. Hopefully you guys are all doing quite well. Um, we don't have much to shout out for the beginning thing, but again, uh, just to reiterate, today's stream will be comprised of some voice acting, some ridiculousness, uh, and some spookiness with The Last Door. Um, for those who are not familiar with the game, it is a point-and-click adventure game, as you can very clearly see in a pixel-style graphics uh, setup. Uh, basically, it's got a sort of Lovecraftian theme to it, which I think is pretty cool, and uh, it's, it's a game that I've been wanting to play for you all, so I'm glad that I finally sat down and started doing it. Um, your question about auto-host, uh, it, it does kick in, but I don't know if it's kicking in for me to someone else. That'd be kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know! I was in the middle of setting it up and going through my followed channels to look for good people to add to it. Oh yeah, so the auto-host is really cool. Uh, what it will do is if you are offline and, uh, somebody on that list is online, it will automatically host that person, meaning that anybody who happens to be a follower of you will see the folks that are on your auto-host list. You can set it up in a couple of different ways. Personally, I have mine set to a uh, handcrafted list that I add to, uh, depending on, you know, A, if the people uh, I think are, are really worth watching, uh, B, if there are folks that I think uh, need the support, and C, if I just love the people and need to be, need to be auto-hosted. Um, if you want to be on my auto host and I don't already have you on there, um, certainly let me know and I'll, I'll uh, look about adding you. <laughs> because uh, I think that one of the cool things about that is it's essentially a way to share the love without having to manually do so. Now, of course, when I'm watching on my mobile or uh, even when I'm on my desktop and uh, I, I notice that I'm not already hosting that person, I always do it. It's a, it's a manual thing for me. It took me a long time to decide to use the auto host because I like the feeling of this is my host and I'm doing it manually, but I think it's kind of a cool feature and I definitely recommend it, so. By the way, someone was playing Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun, so I made a profuse, yeah, good man. Good man, I love that emote. That emote is sexy. All right, guys, let's get on into this. Again, there'll be some voice acting. Hopefully I've wet my whistle enough, but we're starting today off with something a little sweet, some sparkling blackberry awesomeness, uh, but we will get it here soon enough. Don't you worry. I said hi to you. I said hello to you. How are you? How are you all doing? Anyways, last we left our intrepid hero, we got a violin, um, and we were trying to put it in the heart of where what's-her-face what's her Daphne, I think her name was, uh, is buried. We went to her location and found that she's not actually there. And then we went to wherever this is, which I don't actually know. What is this? Did I read this? I don't think I read this. So we're gonna go ahead and read this. With the help of River, the Na uh, Naiad Daphne hid from the sun in the shadowy mists. She changed her skin for strong bark so her heart was forever concealed. Her dance frozen in the rustle of a thousand leaves. I'm fairly certain that she is now the tree. Oh, right, right, that's right, I remember, I remember. So we got out here, and we're like, we don't know what to do. And then there was an eyeball in the eyeball hole, which is also known as the keyhole, and that's where we're going, that's where we're at. This is all new here, woohoo! Oh, I'm not Noctucha, okay, got it, sorry. I just saw that somebody didn't say hi, and I was like, I said hello. I will not type uh, a lot or slow, though. My right wrist hurts. Oh, no, that's that's unfortunate. By the way, congrats on your PB uh, for Ninja Gaiden. Uh, that's, a, that's a tough, tough speed run for sure. Um, also, sad that your iris percent died, because, dude, I don't understand how anybody has the patience for a fucking iris percent. Myths and legends this time. Norse tales, Greek, ancient, and Sumerian. Those I don't recognize. Some of these scripts I've never seen. Oh, go in here, I guess. Uh, I was trying to find a cute nickname for you because nerdy is just an adjective. AC is common and Grunge Wolf sounds 
<laughs> oh, there's a dude. Beg your pardon, sir, if I have startled you. What are you doing here, sitting in the dark? Why, I'm reading these marvelous books. In the dark? How can you see the words without any light? That is the only way to see them, really. That is, if you want to see the words on the other side of the page. The words from the shadows. Shadows always hide from the light, you know, so they can only be read in darkness. Are you the owner of this bookshop? Oh, goodness, no. The bookshop doesn't belong to anyone. Not since I found it here. I'm just a guest, an explorer of these ancient tomes. Have you seen a man pass this way? He's red-haired, tall, and wears a cape? Oh, yes, I know of whom you speak. Uh, I see him here from time to time, pursuing his books. Uh, you would pick off the shelf, glance at it, and put it back. He and I never spoke, though. What do you ask? Uh, I see him sometimes, but he slips away whenever I try to meet him. What is he's guiding me towards something? That may be so. We each have our own white rabbit to lead us through lost places. Can you tell me which books the man pursued? Oh, let me think. Ah, yes. I recall him looking at the unexplored places of the Empire. An excellent tome. Very revealing and very rare. This bookshop is very fortunate to have a copy of it in its collection. I'm not sure whether or where it is now, but I'm sure it can't be far. Uh, pardon the interruption, sir. I I'll leave you to your reading. Man, there's like tons of chat here. Tons of chat. I am Streamcat. I mean, uh, Sturmwolf. <laughs> uh... Yeah, sure, Bear. I push Noctis Lux around all over the place. I think he just follows where I host and like follows that person. It's like kind of a thing. But he is one of my uh, my longest time uh, watchers and one of the coolest dudes ever. Ooh, look at this. He makes great puns. So if you like puns, I'm sure he'll make one for you. see anything to interact with yet. Oh, here we go. Define today. <laughs> uh, a book lies on the floor. The spine reads, Unexplored Places of the Empire. The page has been marked. We'll fucking read the page. <clears throat> the Place of the Eternal Fog, also known as Zyla, is a unique bay in the east of Blaelsrar, near the jungles of Bensuar, or Beng uh, Bengala. It is surrounded by tall, snowy-capped mountains, usually covered in mist. The waters of the bay are very dangerous and rarely visited. It's not that useful. Can I pick it up? No. Well, technically not today here because it's 1.23am, but yeah. Well, Nogus is in France, if I recall correctly. So, that's a thing. Inside this building without sunlight. What is this? The ground lies of books entitled Songs of Zala. The page to which is, was open has been torn out of the remaining fragment identifies the song travel. Search for Simgur. Or Sim Simgur? Whatever. Simra? Whatever. Someone shut up! Figgy is trying to read here! Rude! <laughs> I don't like puns. I like space. I think it speaks volumes. Ah, oh, not this. No. <laughs> it's surprising the less of education covers this place. I don't recognize the species these plants belong to. It's quiet in here. This is this is gonna be bad. Whenever it's silent, it's a bad day. Cracked wall. A long green vine has grown through it. Hey, we've been here before, haven't we? This is a lullaby place, right? It's no partly obscured by mud. Oh, wait, we already read that. Wait, couldn't. 
we couldn't go here before, right? Like, we just opened the gate, right? How loud is the space volume turned up? <laughs> I don't think the volume of space is something that you can turn up as if it was a sound. God, that pun is so good. <laughs> Alright, it's gotta be something in that little pit. Definitely plays the Space Jam theme song. <laughs> oh, that movie. So maybe it, maybe it's down here. This is where I was actually planning to go, anyways. But then, like, the game led me over to some other direction. creepy at all. The violin has disappeared amongst the roots. It was swallowed up. The trunk seems to be expanding. That noise came from above. Well, you know what? I can go up. Does it come with subwoofers? <laughs> there could be subwoofers in the volume of text. Or volume of space. I don't know why I said text, but whatever. tree has grown. Some of the branches have crashed through the window into the street. The wind has been broken by the tree's branches and its sudden growth. Intense rays of light stream into the room. By room, I mean bookshop, but I tried to read that by guessing the next comment. Uh, apparently I made the wrong call. But hey! Reading in the dark. What a weirdo. Think you made the wood grow? You know it, baby. You know it. <laughs> I think we have to find where the window goes out. Oh, there you go. Craigasm. Okay, how do I get back to the hog? Not this way? Fuck. Branches and vines and burst out of the wall. Parchment captured in them. Pick it up. On the page is a strange poem. First into the wind, they sought for the king. But lost were the birds, they went into suffering. They flew into the sea, compelled by a need. They found their silence, for the quest was complete. Creepy man! It's going into the fog! We'll follow him. Probably get hit over the head with a bludgeon again. I wonder if this poem is the way through. So we're gonna listen for for birds, I guess. I was in Discord chat with my friends, and I paused the hell out, or and I 
pass the hell out on them. They laughed at me. I don't understand. Wind. Okay. Cool, cool. Now we need a king or birds. Birds works. Okay. Um, C, I guess, is the next one. Okay. Um, need silence is definitely it. It's not creepy at all. Okay. This was complete, huh? Something's gotta happen here, right guys? You laughed because you fell asleep, but I fall asleep also all the time. <laughs> There's nothing special about it. You're staying up late, it makes sense. Oh, motherfucker's in here. Your ticket, please. Thank you. Please come in. Jeremiah, I knew you'd find us eventually. Welcome to our humble performance. You were there. You were part of the group. You don't remember my name, do you? Alams Alexander. What is this all about? What do you want from me? I guess it's actually a dude. From you? Nothing, dear Jeremiah. It is you who came here searching for answers. This is the same as when you joined our group. We came with our own reasons. Do you remember yours? True philosophy. Indeed. It was our thirst for knowledge that drew us together. No one waits for us there, dear Jeremiah. There's no one who will care for us when our hour comes. We need been we had been alone until now. How did I end up in London after being buried in the boarding school? The bird projects us. It is by his design that we should meet again. But we are not the only ones who take the shelter beneath his wings. His influence and power is ever expanding, ever reaching. You not feel him beckoning. I only want to wake from this nightmare. This is no nightmare. It is a show, a performance. The truth we seek lies beyond the curtain. Now we have crossed the point of no return. The lights are on, the stage is set, and soon you shall meet the actors. Welcome. <laughs> Yeah, clearly, it's a very soft-spoken dude. <laughs> These guys are not creepy at all! This belongs to you. Well, clearly I gotta put it on, right? I am. I guess we probably could have completed this yesterday, but what if? I like how the music got all intense and just stopped. Well, that's what's cool about this game. The sound design is awesome. 
Dearest here, Dr. Wakefield, if you are reading this, then you have followed my instructions to arrive at the agreed upon address. Good. I apologize that I could not accompany you immediately. My own investigations have been demanded a certain and unanticipated degree of attention. Uh, I have determined that your patient, DeVitt, is in serious trouble. I will contact you with more information post haste. In the meantime, discretion is of the utmost importance. Your friend, John Coffin. Yeah, dude, the music is excellent in this game. The Avenger continues in episode four. Well, we don't need to take a break because we basically just started, so let us go to episode four. Post haste. Sorry for the short stop and by, but I'm going to bed. Have a good one, Fig. Yeah, man, thank you for stopping in. It's, it's fine. You stopped in. You supported by your presence. It is always appreciated, regardless of uh, how long it is. Hopefully you have a fantastic night, man. Uh, rest well. Previously, on the last door. After escaping from this burial, David finds himself in a cell of London's darkest slum, the old Nickel Rookery. In his pocket, he has a ticket for a show called The Four Witnesses. David walks through this misty streets, followed by a strange man who seems to guide him. He learns of the legend of the Sigmar, the King of Birds. Following his trail through the dreamland, or dreamlike land of fog, David finally meets Alexander, a member of the secret group David and his friends had at school. Alexander welcomes David and speaks of the entity called the called the bird, and has been calling them ever since the experiment they conducted back then. <clears throat> there is no turning back. Maybe I could do something more creepy with that voice, but whatever. I have made my mind. I'm ready. Go on, do it! Do it! Do it! This probably should have been the beginning of the episode, but whatever. Whatever. Playing this game. I don't remember how many chapters are in uh, season one, but I think there might be six. Then we get to do season two, which I have not even touched. Alright, so this, at this point, is it should be blind for me. I don't think I've played this far. I don't recall anything past that last scene. But I remember finishing that, and then waiting for the next piece to, to come out on the web app, and then I don't remember shit. So if there's anything here that I remember, I'll let you know. But otherwise, blind playthrough time! Can you all see these stairs, or these stars, twinkling in the black outer abyss? All the constellations traced by human eyes in long-distance eras. I don't know why his voice suddenly changed, but whatever. I didn't know who it was, so I went with a voice. Look now to the forest in the valley, the old tower, from the last tree in the distance, to the stars in the sky. Even, or and even the stones beneath our feet are just silhouettes that hide the truth from our poor senses. Ancient shadows hang over the veil that hides the world, as if there was a curtain of a theater. The veil separates the truth from the lie. The veil. It's a place to it, a place of mists. Anthony's great abilities brought you here, but his influence will soon fade away. The mask of lies will descend over your eyes once again. You must find the door as I did. The door that gives passage through the veil. Open it, and we'll walk together beyond the mist. I suppose you are wondering why I called you so urgently. Cannot deny it. Your letter was truly mysterious. I have been traveling, Doctor. Scotland. Have you heard of the massacre at St. Gala? 
Why, yes, the tragic event had been continued to object of, or has been a continued object of speculation and grim rumor in every newspaper in England. For weeks now, pamphlets have claimed that all kinds of macabre things took place. But I don't understand. How is it all connected with my patient? It was there. I'm afraid he is one of the victims. Dear God! Are you telling me my patient has been murdered? Murdered? Thankfully, no. Perhaps the excuse for alarming you. Er, please excuse the... Or excuse me for alarming you. I do not mean to give you this impression. Herr de Witt has a, was attacked by it. Survived. What happened to him then? It seems the criminal has brought... Er, the criminal has... Was caught by Herr de Witt in the midst of the act. When he tried... Tried to do the same thing to the Vit that he had done to the others. Fortunately, the nuns arrived in time to unearth them from their coffin. Here the Vit was hospitalized. The industry reports uh, that he was unconscious for an entire day. What was the Vit doing there? Come on, game. Here we go. So many years ago, the St. Gall Hospital was a boarding school. It appears that both your patient and Mr. Beastworth spent a part of their youth together there. And we can assume that Herr de Witt was investigating something. He believed he had found a clue related to his friend's death. What was the cause of these awful deaths? No one knows for sure. The victims were inflicted with the terrible wounds. All of them had expressions of utmost terror on their faces. I suspect you did not find Mr. de Witt at the hospital? Indeed. He was already gone by the time I arrived. I have not been able to determine his whereabouts since. I see. What conclusions can you draw from all of these circumstances? I have... Uh, I have some theories. I would hope... I would prefer not to reveal them until events have unfolded. In all of them, there is a fundamental element whose role has not yet been revealed. And what leads you to this conclusion? It is something that the Holy Sisters found beside Herr de Witt within the coffin. An empty herpidermic needle with traces of unknown substance. I think I changed those like four times in the middle of that conversation, but it's okay. Episode 4 Ancient Shadows. Sure, this is the place. Alexander's house must just be ahead. Hawkeye. The ancient castle of Provenci rests in the distance. It was a garrison first built by the Romans, uh, but it was abandoned and has been ruined ever since. I vaguely recall a forested scene, but... Have I done this episode? Have I done this one? Feels vaguely familiar, guys. Latched. I can't open it from this side. Well, it's a fucking gate. Do this. And you're good to go, man. Like, it's it's about this high. Like, you literally can just reach your arm over. Like, just with a little bit of tippy toes. Maybe you, like, grab a planter and stand on it a little bit. Get on over. This is one of those things that always blows me away about adventure games. When there's a, when there's a door that's basically a gate. And that gate is not, like... 70 feet tall it's like maybe four feet tall and they're like it's locked guys can't do it i can't open that gate can't do it there's no way i can unlatch that thing where the latch has to be somewhere on said gate but it's it's four feet fucking tall man i can't i can't do four feet i can't do four feet <sighs> like i never understood that with adventure games like they, they put such Silly obstacles sometimes. This one is, is like, beyond me for silliness. Like, literally, you could climb over that with maybe a slight hop. Now, if he had said, I don't want to go in there until I've introduced, the, or until I've uh, announced myself or something to that effect, I would feel better about that. To me, I would feel there was more realism in the guy going, I'm not going to jump over the fucking gate and get into the backyard because I am here to say hello to people and therefore introduce myself, so I should knock on the door before I go hopping over a gate. 
the sand. Like that would, I would feel much better. Like I don't want to do that. I should introduce myself first, or I should uh, announce myself first, or something to that effect. You know, feel better about that. <sighs> but you know, games will be games. And no one is answering. Perhaps I should go inside anyways. I'll just tell them of a household that I'm an old friend to come to visit. I mean, see, that felt more real than the gates latched. I mean, it's still kind of weird. He's like, no one's here, but I'm a fucking bargain anyways. But I can still, I can suspend that disbelief far more than I can suspend the... I could like, slightly hop and get my hand over there to unlatch. You know, like that... Anyways, rant over, rant over. Footsteps. There must be someone upstairs. Well, I ain't going upstairs yet. Could I explore? It could be the Pern City Castle, but this painting the garrison is not in ruins. A couple old teacups sit on the table. One of them is full and still warm. Can pick it up. Yeah. So it's an oil lamp. I'm glad this one was not like impossibly stupid to set up. It's a diary. The last thing written, the last pages have been ripped off. October 12th, 1887. It has been a while since I can devote many time to this diary for reasons beyond my control. An event most tragic has taken place in this house. Mr. Dupre has gone ill, immersed in his everlasting stupor from which, it seems, he shall not return any time soon. Since the accident, I patiently take care of him. The doctor's treatments don't seem to do any good. I feed him like a child and make sure all of the sculptures in the house are turned towards the wall. What else can I do? October 13th, 1887. The clockmaker just left. He's done such a good job. In the end, Mr. Dupree is not going to be able to notice the change in the clocks that had so in in insistently requested, or that he is so intis. Blah, blah, blah. Let's try that again. In the end, Mr. Dupree is not going to be able to notice the change in the clocks that he had so insistently requested. In this state, this time will not be a problem anymore. It looks like the diary a member of Alexander's household. What happened to them? Pantry with spices and ingredients. Take all the spices and ingredients. It's an adventure game. You take all the things. Even the things nailed down, you find a way to take those too. I swear to God, if we go up to the gate and unfucking latch it, I'm gonna be super annoyed. <laughs> you literally could. I remember this scene. I've played at least part of this episode. I remember because I remember that fucking gate going, are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> you fucking kidding me. I remember that now. Oh, the rage. I remember nothing else, but I remember that fucking gate. <laughs> An ancient stone well. Oh, a rope hangs inside, disappearing into the darkness below. Well, take the rope. The rope is broken. I'll keep this end. That was... that was the point. <gasps> Looks like someone was buried here. I can't dig with my bare hands. Sure you can! You have done it before. But okay. The cellar door is locked. I need a key to open it. Look guys, we're gonna go out here and be in the front now. Now, to be fair, if I look at the uh, whole level so far from a design perspective, I understand why you want to block the person from using that gate the first time they see it. Because the first thing that you would do if you went through that is find yourself opening a door to a dark room with no ability to get a lamp. And the lamp is on the other side of that. So I understand from the gameplay flow aspect why they wanted to do that. But I still feel like, at the very least, make that gate... 10 feet tall. 
Because then at least it seems more reasonable to say, I can't go through this gate. That moment when your elbow, uh, when you hit your elbow on a wood dresser. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Especially if you hit that, that funny bone or whatever. That. That is the worst. All right, was there something else in here that I could have uh, maybe looked at, done, eaten, consumed? Just some old bottles. No is the answer to that question. Well-crafted grandfather clock, but it seems to be out of order. One of the hands is missing. Okay, clearly that's a puzzle we need to figure out. Because anytime you see a clock missing a hand, it's a fucking clock puzzle. Alexander! There's a scribbled annotation on a piece of paper. The veil is something we sense in our innermost being incessantly. In vain we or do we waste our lives craving to care through it. As those the veil... Valitia, the curtain behind which the great wings beat inside its ancient mist inhabits the shadows of those who left. Okay. The cuckoo clock is covered with dust. It seems to be missing an important piece. The bird. So 9.15? No, 11.15. Based on the clock has been turned. Alright, well. Nothing else to do. Alexander, it's me to fit. I'm sorry if I startled you. Is everything alright? Why are you sitting in a wheelchair? Are you hurt maybe? Can you stand? It's a really shitty way to start a conversation, but that's okay. He's staring blankly at some distant point, as if it has not heard my question at all. You told me I could come here, and I came as soon as I could. Can you tell me what's happening here? He gives no answer, but persistently stares at something nearby. He appears to be in some kind of hypnotic trance. When I was downstairs, I could have sworn I heard footsteps. Were those yours? Or was there someone else in this house? For a moment, with a flash of hope that he was looking at me, but he is Alan Charleston. Alexander, please, say something! I don't know what to do! I click on the thing that's totally not- Nope! Shit! Nope, close that. Click button, not not game button. Window mode, problem sometimes. Fix, problem. Okay, we're okay. Sort of get for being emotive. <laughs> I don't understand. Just what has happened to him? Looks miles away. Well, he's staring at something. What is he fucking staring at? It's not the TV thing. They don't have TVs. Open the fucking curtain. Clearly he's staring out that way, right? Misty dock overlooks a gray ocean. Gulls wheel overhead. All right. Explore the rest of the uh, the homestead. A huge chest made of oak wood. A large iron hook inside. There's a fragment of diary under the hook. Weird place to put a hook. August 5th, 1887. I can't work in the basement anymore. There's wretched sculptures. Feel them stalking me in the darkness. I know it's not possible, but I can't hear the crutches, the flapping wings, stone garden grinding on stone, a frozen paroxysm. It's what diabolical art were these gestures conceived? Turn a moment, attention, an impossible struggle to get back the life that they never had. Let my place them at the outdoors, in the greenhouse. Let the mold devour them, and wasp making nests in their hollow hearts. That's an ass. Alright, we'll go in here first. A camera tripod. Okay. A basin with a copper drain. I mean, looks like some kind of red tinted glass cover used to cover the lamps. It's completely shattered on the floor. Well, maybe we need to get ourselves some red paint. Image of a couple wearing rat masks at a festival. That's a creepy thing to wear as a mask. 
It's a big book of home chemistry recipes. A few pages have been bookmarked, and some articles are underlined. 1349. Collodion for photography. Collodion is the vehicle by which the photographic chemicals are united upon the surface of the glass and the sensitive coating produced. Many formulae are published for this article, which, uh, to which great value is attached. Some are supporting that this peculiar composition belongs to principal causes of failure or success. It's the only in a degree true. Develop a positive image. This is done by pouring upon the plate about one ounce of the vitriol spirit solution, but only then adding five or six drops of the cyanide acid. Then the plate must be thoroughly washed in water to remove any excess of the chemicals. Causes of failure. They would almost require a chapter by themselves. Uh, long experience convinces us that nine out of every ten failures occurred from a want of from a want of care, the presence of dirt, negligence. Uh, one cannot be over nice, careful, or cleanly. The best results always rewarding the most painstaking. If a mistake is made, the order specified in the formulae quickly flow clean water over the plaque and start again. Okay. An instrument whose workings are beyond my knowledge. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You're getting her some furniture? What about me and my empty ass room? Come on. I'm kidding, of course. You don't need to send me fucking furniture. I don't need furniture. Glass jar containing yellow substance. The label reads cyanide. Oh, dude, drink it. Okay, so we need a plaque something to develop the photograph and whatever the photograph is on. All these things we need. Bust with his face turned around. A large envelope of black felt covered in the dust and ashes. Live with a warning. Do not open it under a white light. Found our black. It's a letter. Dear Alexander, I have excellent news. A contact from the university has given me access to a 12th century alchemical tome containing an amazing formulary. There's no doubt that sometimes mere contemplation takes the mind to places that otherwise it would never have visited. Leaving through the grimoire and marveling at the exquisite illumination of its pages, I've been struck by a sudden epiphany. Radical but elegant method I've decided to try. Forgive me for not providing any information about the method itself. As soon as I get a definite result, I will write you immediately. I believe the fortune has truly smiled upon us today. Vedet Negaquisicat. June 8th, 7. She's settling in. Cat can use the furniture. You, on the other hand, are as much as a nomad as I am. Touche, good sir. I think I said this before on the stream, but if there was a lady in my life, I would probably at least have a couch. But alas, there is not, so I don't bring anybody here, so what the fuck do I need furniture for? I've got the only furniture I need, a bed and this chair. Okay. So what's the hook for? Okay, now I have a chain hook, essentially. Do we go back here and use the chain hook on the... the punt dirt inside the bucket there was a small bird of brass a little bird when shaken it makes noise as if there was something inside we'll smash that shit and I need a hammer now okay you know I, I have a a thought that may not pan out for for anything Old runes lay by the path. They seem to be Roman in style. Oh shit! Corpse of a deer. Adam had torn open. It looks recently dead. Well, take its horns. I like the clever use of light, by the way, in this game.
Why can't I go in the very clear doorway? Oh, it's greenhouse. There we go. Odd it was latched from the outside. I don't know. It was more odd that you would latch something from the inside with no way to get in. And look, this is broken from the inside. For for an outside building, I should. Statue of an angel with its wings spread. It is missing. Jar of vitriol oil. Careful. Powerful acid. Got me some vitriol. Some vitriol, yeah. Wait a minute. Something moving here. Something important. Okay. okay. So now I have everything but like the bulb. I need like red paint. Something further. Basically, I need something to make the, uh, the light bulb not white. You seen anything like that? It says, Table holds nothing but a box in the description. Lum uh, laudanum has been taken in case of anxiety. Is is, it is as, as it is empty. Didn't you just move this here, or did my memory trick me? I added a sparkly belt to my wedding dress. I will be moving. Oh, okay, see. But he means when you when you need to settle in, clearly. He, he's uh, going for the future. right? Always a point in these games where you go, where the fuck is the thing I need to do? something with a clock. What I can think of so far. Is that or we have to find a way to... Oh! Duh, the bird. Had a thought. Got it. Is the clock moving? Do I just have to wait? Hmm. 
I mean, I have a feeling that I have to do something with this clock to affect the other clock. It won't let me do anything. Missing a zone, maybe? I don't want to dig with my hands because I don't want to get dirty. Hmm. Yeah, we need to find the key, clearly. I'll take only the finest of granite furniture or marble. <laughs> kind of ridiculous, but okay. Is something in the in the guts? And this is where we started from, basically, right? You fit just right in Moon World, yeah. That's such a good game. I love RimWorld. Nope, not a problem at all. Oh, he's making a commentary of how ridiculous it was. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm a ridiculous man. Same. I kind of wanted to see if I could finish this chapter to end the, the first segment, but I might just call the segment so I can get myself a bear. Something to wet my whiskle. Maybe give myself a chance to reordinate my brain spade. Maybe regenerate every sound when you drown her. Light man mate. Nah. I don't fight those I care about. Just not a thing. Did I miss something super obvious right here? Seems to an invoice. May this document serve as a record for the payment made corresponding to the following work. Cuckoo clock. The mechanism has been modified to give the strokes exclusively at quarter past six in the afternoon. In addition, a special device and a switch have been added to the synchronize all clocks in the house. Yeah, see, now I just need to fucking... So I was right. Fucking... The... <laughs> Quarter past six. We can synchronize all the clocks. I need a thing to do that with. I already read that. <laughs> Single player falls. Shovel's line with the. No, no, I already read that. Oh, turn it around. Maybe there's something on the other side of it. Some sign of red tinted glass covered to use the mass of lamp. It's completely shadowed on the floor. Yeah, well, that's why we gotta repair it. I don't know how. I don't know how. All right, we're gonna take our first break real, real fast, guys. I would like to get that beer I talked about and also to get some more water for my wet whistle. Yes, my wet whistle, because that's a thing. 
Um, so we're going to take a quick break, and then we will be back uh, with a continuation. Uh, don't go anywhere. We shall return.